All right, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the next episode of Skyrim. If this is your first time watching, or if you are a returning viewer, I very, very much appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy this video. We are about to go meet Parthenex, who we have been told that if anyone knows this uh, Dragon Wren shout, it's going to be him. So, we basically have to clear a path. I don't know. Look, Bakur. Look, Bakur. Are you trying to sneak up on me? How could the goat can survive? Look how these goats can survive in harsh conditions. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way, Mr. Goat? Don't push me. Look, he's levitating. I just knew this would be a really good place since there's no crazy fog. Get a really good view. I already thought the graybeards were high up there. Wow. Ice yeah. I'll clear the fog for you guys. I feel safe when you are around. It is nice to know that someone capable has my back. Well, thank you. <laughs> Although, <laughs> most of the time you're more capable than I am. Die! It went pretty well. All things considered. Look, cool. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Inigo, I couldn't have done that. Dragon bones. Look, cool. Just gonna shout my way up this mountain. Mm. Wow. Look at the icicles hanging down. <laughs> oh, look at that. See for miles. Seeing the sphere? Something troubling you? No. I am thinking that it is good to be alive and by your side. Thank you. Just amazing. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Well, of course he had to ruin it. Fall over and die. We make quite a team, eh? That we do. Until we know the limits of our courage. Look, Bakul! I want it. Ourselves. 
This is just amazing. They weren't kidding when they said it was secluded. <laughs> There's our goat. Glad to see you made it. Oh, and there's another one. Just... What was that? <laughs> Aww. Aww. He must have tried to go through there. Oh, that hurt me really bad, too. It's closer than I expected. Alright, Vilkus, just uh, drop out of the sky there. I told you to wait on me, goat. Well, here we are. Oh. Dragon. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? You're the master of the Greybeards? They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Doe. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. You are very huge. So, you want me to use my fire. Boom. I don't know what I'm doing there. Why do you intrude here, if not for Yo! Tinvark? Yo! Yo! Oh wait, maybe A gift, Dovahkiin. Ah. Yol, understand fire as the Dove do. Sorry, I misunderstood you. Thank you. That's even more awesome. Do not be afraid. Oh, you will. Fasnu, let me feel the power of your thum. You want me to shout at you? Huh. Oh, you say so. Do not no. be afraid. Ta! Fasnu, let. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. You're just so amazing. Look at you. 
Magnificent. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I like this world, and I don't want it to end. Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon run shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the dragon rend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. 
It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. An Elder Scroll? What is that? Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwahlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. How does this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Wow. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Esper nor Arngear might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. What do I do with the Elder Scroll when I do find it? Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth, Feldir? Who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrothun, the Nords have had many heroes since, 
but none greater. Wow. So you taught humans the first thune. What does the Dragon Wren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do any others ever come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Wow. Can I meditate on another word? Which calls to you, Dovakin? Drem Yolok, greetings. Oops. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fine. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. I would like to meditate on the last word. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soljek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare?
How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Lok Thum. It was very nice to meet you. So, uh, just had a conversation with a dragon. The leader of the Greybeards is a dragon? I did not see that coming. I thought he would be. To me, that seems an odd assumption to make. I wish I had your powers <laughs> of deductive reasoning. Wow. Any other thoughts? This place smells like dragon and prophecy. Okay, let us get back to it. Okay, well. We now know that Parthenax is not only seemingly to be on our side. He's pretty polite. This altitude is dizzying. Keep hitting the wrong button. And here are all the horses. At least they're not lost somewhere. Sometimes these hallways can be a maze at first, at least until you really get your bearings. There you are. Wow. That is an amazing view for meditation. So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon rend shout? No, but he told me how to find out. Oh, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, 
We will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll the ancients used. Do you know where to find it? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about what? the Elder Scroll you seek. Okay. Sky, got you. You as well. That's fun. I have to do that every now and then. Oh, da! Need to go to Winterhold. <laughs> Interesting. I find your wolfish day. grin unsettling. Hmm. Not me. Well, all right. It's about that time to wrap up this episode. Let's see if any go. We have a dragon, dragon. problem. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna tell Parthenax on you. First. Another day, yep. another victory. I would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. That looked like a big soul. What I don't care magic. what other Jesus. people say. That does not look healthy. Are you going to be sick, my friend? Oh, all right. Thanks for asking. No one can doubt that you truly are Dragonborn. I think that's pretty well established. <laughs> Don't you have a job to do? I used to be an adventurer <laughs> like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. I'm so glad. Until next time. I talked to that guard. Okay. Anyway. As I was going to say. Let me hop on Blaze and see if... There we go. That's at least... Watch your steps, Steed. If you slip, we both go down. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to end this episode here. And in the next episode, we are going to go to the College of Winterhold to see if we can find this Elder Scroll. If you enjoyed my playthrough, please like, comment, or subscribe, and feel free to watch any of my other playthroughs. I very much appreciate your views. I hope you guys and gals have a great day or night. You are awesome, and peace out.